Hello, in this video we'll be looking at moving files between OneDrive and Google Drive on your Chromebook. I use Google Drive and obviously I'm sure most people do because Google Drive is integrated with Chrome OS, but OneDrive is also good and if you use Microsoft 365 you most likely use OneDrive. So having both the cloud storage systems makes sense, but you may want to move files from OneDrive to Google Drive or vice versa, and it's just the best way of doing that. Now I'm gonna show you a few different ways. I'm not saying they're all gonna be the best way, but then as we further get on in the video, I'll show you what I think is the best way. There are quite a few different ways so watch the video and I'll show you how it all works okay so the first thing is I'll show you here is the downloads folder is all empty apart from this video that I'm recording right now which is fine and then if we go to Google Drive I have created a word document it doesn't have to be a word document but I've created a word document there is a reason why I've done that, which I'll show you in a second, and that's got move from Google Drive. So I've just named it so we understand that we want to move this file from Google Drive to OneDrive. And then if we open up OneDrive, I've also got a file in here, move from OneDrive. So it's about how you get this onto Google Drive and the one on Google Drive onto OneDrive and the easiest way to do it. Now, the last option I show you that will be linked to a video I did a couple of days ago and that's what makes it so much easier now. If you've not watched that video, once you've watched this video and you, you want to try it, I'll put a link to that video in the description so you can have a look at that once you've had a look at this video. Okay, so if we, the one of the ways, which is a bit clunky, you could go to Google Drive like that and then you've got move from Google Drive. Now, if you right click on that from Google Drive, you'll see that you've got the option to download it and that will then download to your downloads folder. So if you go into downloads folder, you'll see it's there like that. Another way of doing it, if you wasn't using Google Drive and using the Chrome OS File Explorer, if we just move that from downloads, uh, move to trash. I'm just showing a few different ways because you might want to do it different ways. And then from here, another way to do it, you could go to Google Drive and then you could just drag it, hold it down and go like that. That's another way, but that's from your Chrome OS File Explorer. And again, that puts it down into the downloads folder. So that's how you do it from Google Drive. Now, I'll also show you how to do it from OneDrive. So if it was in OneDrive and you want to download that, just right click on it and do download. And again, that then goes on to downloads. Now, once it's downloaded, you can then easily upload it to either OneDrive or Google Drive. But it's that method, that's what you used to have to do. But with this new method, you don't have to do that anymore because it's a bit of a clunky experience downloading a file just to upload it to another cloud storage. It doesn't make any sense. So that you can, by all means, do it that way if you want to. And then you can simply upload. So if you was in here, you could just right click here not right click here, just click here and this is in the OneDrive and you could just do the upload from there and choose your download like that. And you can do that in Google Drive as well. So if it's in Google Drive, you could just right click and do file upload and then choose to download that way. But there's a much better way of doing it now. So although there is a video to show you, I'll just quickly show you, you still have to watch that video. And the reason why is because the integration part, I'll show you, show you the flag and this, what the flag I'm gonna show you now is how you're gonna do the other way of moving one file from Google Drive to OneDrive, vice versa. So if you go to Chrome and you just wanna to go to Chrome, colon, forward slash, forward slash flags, and it's this one here, enable office files upload workflow. That's the one you have to enable. But I would still strongly suggest watching that video afterwards because that video will also show you how to then start the process. 
um, of doing that. It isn't just a case of doing that and then it's going to be ready for you. Okay, so the good thing about using that flag, once you've used that flag, you will notice now, and I'm going to show you more options on how to do it. You've got your Google Drive here and you've got your OneDrive there. So one way of doing it, but there's a better way of doing it than this, I think, as well. But you could open up one Chrome OS File Explorer and then you could open up another Chrome OS File Explorer like that. Now this is good if you've got, say, this one here, move from Google Drive and on this one here, so that's on Google Drive, that's on OneDrive. If you wanted to put that in a specific folder in your OneDrive, this is a good method because I wouldn't just have to go from there to there. I could say, right, I want to put that in desktop. But now you'll see this one is in OneDrive, that one's in Google Drive. Really easy to sync them, move them over. Just drag that one from OneDrive onto your Google Drive and that's that one done. And then drag that one from there onto there. And that has now moved both of them. So they still stay on your Google Drive and your OneDrive, but they now are also showing on here. Now you can see that the OneDrive hasn't synced straight away. Bear in mind this is new Chrome OS flag. So this may take a little longer to refresh as such. Um, but if you close them down and go into the actual drives, you'll see that it's got me from Google Drive move from OneDrive, so it's got both of them, and Google Drive has got both of them as well. So that's a really good way of doing it now where that wasn't available before. So I'm just gonna delete this just to show you another way. So move to trash, and then if I go to here, and move, delete that one as well. So now we're back to just having the one file on each one. Another way you can do it now, which is good, is, you can, because you've now got this integration here, the Google Drive and OneDrive, that integration shows up on the actual OneDrive and Google Drive as well. So from Google Drive, for example, here, if you do right click and do file upload, or obviously there's folder upload, file upload, click on that, and it uses the Chrome OS File Explorer. So you can then just simply click on OneDrive, move from OneDrive, open, and that's uploaded it to your Google Drive. And you can do exactly the same in OneDrive. So if you go to OneDrive, and then you don't right click to upload on OneDrive, it's up here. So you just click upload, and then files or folder, we do files. And again, it uses the same Chrome OS File Explorer here. So you can then just simply click on the Google Drive and move from Google Drive. So two different ways of doing it. That way may be a good way if you just want to put it into the root of Google Drive and the root of OneDrive. But if you want to put it in a specific folder, don't get it wrong, you could still do it this way. You could just go into the folder first and then do upload, so that's fine or it may be best if you want to put it into certain folders to use this method that I showed you as well. So that's a really good way of doing it. Now I will show you another way as well, and this is also to do with the Chrome OS flag, um, which does this. And I'm going to show you this because you might find at first it's a bit strange. I'm going to show you how it works. So move from OneDrive. drive, we want that. We'll delete that, move from Google Drive. Where's delete, delete. And if we go to this here and move from OneDrive, delete that, move to trash. Okay, so now we've gone back to them only being on the OneDrive each. So this is another way. Now this only works if you're going from Google Drive to OneDrive, not the other way around. And this is to do with the Chrome OS flag that is enabled that OneDrive there. So if you had the file in Google Drive like this. If you right click on the file and you do open with, you'll see that it doesn't have the option to open with OneDrive, okay? So you have to do it from inside here. 
But if you're inside the Chrome OS File Explorer, and then if you go to Google Drive, move from OneDrive, that should have been gone. Let's just get rid of that. Move from OneDrive. So we've got move from Google Drive. If you just right click on that, and you can see there Microsoft 365, just click on that or open with. And again, if you do that, so just click on that, this comes up and it copy one file to Microsoft OneDrive to open. And as you can see, it says copy. So because you're doing it from Google Drive, it will copy it. So that's another way of moving a file over as well. And if you don't want to see this every time, you can click don't ask again. But if you copy and open, that will open it within Word, but it will also make a copy in your OneDrive. So this is the file that I created. Also make a copy in your OneDrive there like that so that's another way and i will show you another way but i don't think you'd necessarily need to use it this way but i'm just going to show you so you can see how it works um if we go to google drive if we download that well it doesn't let you download from the file explorer you'd have to use google drive but you can put it into downloads quite easily just by dragging and dropping into downloads from there and then if we go to downloads, another way, if you have it downloaded locally and you right click on it and do Microsoft 365, you'll see that it says move one file rather than copy. So if the file stored locally, it will move it. If it's stored on Google Drive, it will copy it. So I think it's really good that flag's beneficial. And personally speaking, I think two of the best ways of doing it is either opening up two file explorers like that, and you can simply drag and drop from one to the other, which is really good. It's so seamless that that is now a possibility. Or if you want to do it with inside the apps and just do the upload like that, and it gives you that option as well. So it's really good set integration. And bearing in mind that flag has only just started to appear. So I'm sure it's gonna get much better. So now I think that clearly shows that it's so much, there's so much more integration and that Chrome OS flag has only just come out. So you can now easily take files from OneDrive onto Google Drive and from Google Drive to OneDrive. And you ain't gonna mess about with downloading the files anymore, which is really good. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.